Hey guys, welcome back to Attack of the World. How's your week been? This week, we're going to talk about E3, I guess. It's that time of year. Uh, I can no longer avoid it. I can no longer avoid it. To be honest, I couldn't think of anything. Like, And I told you last week. I told you last week. I was like, okay. I'm going to give it a good think, and I'll come back next week, and I'll tell you guys all about the f E3. D I mean... I mean, <laughs> I just, I don't know, I don't know what I want to see in E3, I don't, the game I want the most, the game I desire the most is Stormblood, and it's coming out, like, two days after E3, so, well, the early access starts two days after E3, should I say, so, you know, I'm kind of content, uh, I don't, so, I've been thinking about it a long time, like, we don't usually see NES, NIS there, do we? We don't usually see NIS. So, since we don't usually see NIS there, I don't, I can't even say, like, oh, yeah, well, I want to see the new Disc Air, Disc Air 5, and shit like that. Like, there may be stuff to show us. Wait, is this Disc Air 5? This is Disc Air 5. Disc Air 6. Like, it'd be great to see this. It'd be great to see that. Like, something like that. Like, a wish list or something like that. So, you know, it's like, I don't necessarily want to see Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, not that Rockstar is generally there either. Uh, if Rockstar are there, they'll probably be there because Sony asked them to be there, I guess, probably. To show Red Dead. Uh, maybe Xbox. Maybe they could go on to go to the Xbox conference, but they won't, they're generally not there of their own fruition, if ever, you know? I don't remember seeing GTA 5 there at all, when that was coming out. Uh, obviously we're going to see like stuff like Call of Duty and stuff like that, but I don't really care about that either. Um, so I really couldn't think of anything, I was like, what? I was like, what, what, do I, what do I even care about? What do I want to see in 3? Like, there must be something I want to, I want to see show up, like, you know, like, something I want to see miraculously arrive out of nowhere in fresh air and there was, I just really couldn't think of anything I'm more interested in like I'm more interested in what is Nintendo gonna do with the switch you know like what are they what are they gonna do with it S stuff like that like I'm more interested in that than I am like pretty much anything else so I really don't know I really just don't know what I want to see if if Sony were like there was rumors that Sony were going to show off a new handheld, uh, if they were to show off like a a Vita two of some description, uh, I would be down. I I love the Vita. I love the Vita. I think it's a great machine. It's it suffered like kind of suffered library wise. But if you were an NIS fan or if you were like a Tecmo fan, uh, the Vita had plenty for you to play. Quite frankly, there was loads for you to play if you were interested in these sort of games. Like they re-released the Discaya Free on the first Vita, and that was awesome. It looked so fucking good on the Vita. It was like so fun to play. It was like the, the perfect game to be able to turn on anywhere you are, you know. And then there's like Persona 4. Like that was so fucking good. Like that's worth that's worth the price of admission just there. Just Persona 4 and just get free. Just do it for those. Just do it for those two. We're not gonna be able to reach. Alright. We'll just end our turn. That's fun. But it's like, so I'm, I kinda wanna see a Vita 2. Actually, now that I've mentioned it, I kinda wanna see a Vita 2. But I doubt we're gonna see that. I doubt they're gonna show a Vita 2. Uh, Sony are probably done with handhelds. Uh, Maybe not done with handhelds, but they're probably not jumping into the barrel just yet. Uh, it'd be good to see, though. Uh, I mean, there was also rumors that they're going to show a golden PS4. And by rumors, I mean pictures of a golden PS4. So... I mean, sure, like, who cares, you know? Who cares a fucking palette change for a console? Not me. Not, a, not these days. Like, why would I give a shit? I don't think I ever cared about that sort of stuff. 
there was like when the PlayStation 2 was around, they were like, we now we're announcing the white PlayStation. I was like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> like, I have one. I don't really give a shit. Why would I buy another one and then pay extra to change the color of it? I don't. Black is the same color as my TV. It makes sense. I don't understand. I shall go. Yeah, that's always kind of been the case for me when it comes to like palette changes of a console or whatever. Uh, I know I it, a lot of people, a lot of people I know were kind of talking about like they'd want to see a new a new Ico thing. And it's like they so they want to see like you know, the next Shadow of Colossus, you know what I mean? The next the Last Guardian, like the next the the next you know one of those. And it's just like well. If they show it, you're gonna be waiting seven years, so don't get too excited. Uh, we can't do anymore. Just live. It's too far away. Ah, oh, it's dead. Okay. That's fine. Nah, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, we probably could have got it if we tried hard enough, if I'm honest. I think we actually probably could have got that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see. I'd like to see Platinum. Basically, really, I think Platinum. I'd like to see what they're got going next since their scale bound was was uh, cap at the beginning of the year. In some sort of idiotic, stupid move by Microsoft, they were like, "Ah, oh, canceling scale bound." I mean, and I do. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, from last year, from last year's E3, uh, we know uh, Matthew from Versus Mode. He was planning on buying a, an Xbox Scorpio. For scale bound, you know, directly for this particular game. He was like, this looks fucking sick. I want this thing. This is amazing. He's just like, well. Oh, that's gone forever. So, you know, it's, it's it was a stupid move in my opinion. I mean, obviously, I could probably tell you what's going to be there. Like, obviously, Ubisoft is going to come out and Ubisoft is going to be like, whoa. Look, we've got Far Cry 5. Look, we've got Assassin's Creed 72. It's like, great, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Ubisoft. Thanks for still the massive disappointment that you are. Uh, it's like, to be, actually, to be fair, I'm actually kind of interested in the Egyptian Assassin's Creed. I'll keep an eye on that. Because the last, the last good, the last good, right? The last good and best Assassin's Creed was Black Flag. So, if it's got, it's got naval combat in. So, hell, hell if it's, if it's there, maybe I'll get it. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, Far Cry Five, I can't, I can't not for. There was that rumor that went around that it was cancelled, and then there was that thing with the petition. Uh, the petition that um, like there's a petition to get it cancelled. Like, jeez. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, okay, sure. Like, whatever floats people's boats, I guess. But I mean, I don't. Know. I don't really see the issue with it. At the same time, I don't really care because it's just not my sort of thing. Uh, I, I loved Far Cry One and I loved Far Cry Two, and Far Cry Three was great. Then Far Cry 4 was the same. And it was like, what? Like, this has been a series that different each time. And now, since you found the one that sold, you're like, okay, we're done those. It's like, well, go fuck yourself then. You know, it's like, well, I don't. And I played 4, I beat 4. I shall go. But it was kind of like, it was just kind of boring. It was just kind of like, ugh, I don't really care about any of this. I did do a lot of the side stuff in Far Cry 5, 4 because I was just like, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just don't care. And there was, well, what else will we see? We'll probably see that new Rayman Raving Rabbits thing with um, Super Mario. Probably see that. That'll be interesting to see. Like, what the fuck that noise is? Uh, that 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 could be interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just really interested in seeing what the Switch has. Cause like I've not I've not took the plunge yet. I've not brought a switch. Generally because I've not got anything on it. Like the only game that I wanted was Breath of the Wild and I you. So I wasn't gonna just dump three hundred pounds on a console that hasn't got fuck all else. 
Uh, I wanted Mario Kart Deluxe, but again, I had it on the Wii U, so it wasn't a massive freaking drama. You're just not going to reach, are you? Are you, are you just reach? So, you know, it wasn't like too big of a drama, but I, I would have liked to play Mario Kart, because I fucking love Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is so fucking good. It's, it's the best. Mario Kart, easily, in my opinion. It's so good. So good, so enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to see what they want, what they're going to show next. I'd like to see more of that Mario Odyssey game, because so far, what we saw in that Mario Odyssey game, I'm really not impressed. I, I really, I was like, I don't really don't care about this. This looks stupid. So I'm a bit more interested in seeing more of that and stuff. I want to see more Fire Emblem Warriors. That's what I want to see. I want to see more Fire Emblem Warriors because hope the game that I was like, fuck yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors. All right, I'll buy a Switch when that fucker comes out. <laughs> so you know, give me more of that. That would be nice from Nintendo. Uh, show me what they've got in store for Breath of the Wild DLC uh, or expansions or however they want to deal with it. Show me that because that would be interesting to see at the very least. Uh, you know what? You should probably actually go over here because we're not using you to your full potential. And you should kill this one. I'll get someone else to do this. The mighty chestnut. We, you know, obviously, we don't really see a lot of the games we play. Uh, Square Enix are going to come out. Obviously, they're going to have their. Own, they're going to be like, oh, storm blood in two days. So, okay, great. We, we know that. You've timed it almost perfectly to give a quick blast. Like this video game. That's right. Isn't it awesome? And it is awesome. And you should all immediately buy it. Uh, I don't. They're gonna show Final Fantasy XII, right? Square Enix, will, Square Enix has got to have twelve there uh, to show it off. Uh, it's again twelve. I don't really know about twelve. I, I never played twelve. The the <laughs> the amount of time I've spent with twelve is on this channel in an hour-long video. That's the exact amount of time I've played with twelve, and I did and I didn't super enjoy it. Uh, it wasn't like super awful. It just wasn't like super into it. Uh, right, can we get Killy out and then get Luna to throw? Right, you throw Luna over here. She needs, she needs to get over here. There we go. Uh, okay, right, that's good. Now that I focus on that. Seriously, seriously, it's like it's the hardest thing. I've been racking my brain literally for. Ever since last week, I've just been thinking about like E3. I'm like, this is nothing I really care about. Like, I'm pretty satisfied. Like, I'm pretty damn satisfied with what we've got going. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's obviously going to be a few surprises. And we're going to see those. That we're going to. We're probably going to see shit. We knew we wanted, you know, before we see it. We'll probably see more of that zombie game that Xbox showed off, and we'll probably see more of. I don't know, we'll probably just see a whole bunch of stuff we saw last last year, to be honest with you. If I feel like E3 is going to not be super exciting this time, we'll see some of the Scorpio, and it'll be like, who gives a shit? Because it's still an Xbox Scorpio. I mean, yes, I'm sure some people are excited for it, and that's fantastic, but unless you're, like, interested in what Xbox has to offer. Have nothing to offer me right now. Uh, they had Scalebound, but you know, uh, and Scalebound honestly wasn't looking good enough that I was gonna drop uh, money on an Xbox One, possibly like an old Xbox One, you know, like one of the really fat ones to play it. But you know, because I, I wanted Sunset Overdrive as well, but then that turned out to not be super amazing either, which is which is a shame because. Insomniac are great fucking developers. Uh, Ratchet and Clank would be good to see. Uh, we're going to see more of The Last of Us as well, too. So, like, that's obvious and no big deal. Uh, I'll be I'll be buying it. Like, that's for damn sure. So, <laughs> you know. That's, that's all I have to say for that one. Like, I'm definitely going to be buying it. I'm definitely going to be playing it. So, it doesn't really matter. But... 
I, don't, I, I want to. I want to see stuff like Jack and Daxter, right? I want to see stuff that I know is not never going to see the light of fucking day. I want a new Jack and Daxter game. I want a new Ratchet and Clank game. I want a new Ratchet and Clank game, not like a a remake of the second one that's going to be worse than the original, like the first one was. It's. I want like. I shall go. Uh, I don't know. I want. What do I want? see crazy stuff i want to see like crazy like hey look we got this game it's like whoa that game like that's what i want i want that uh not that it really matters because like hype hype culture and stuff like that i've never really subscribed to like getting super hype over a, over a game because guess what you're going to be disappointed <laughs> just every freaking time so you know and i've always i've always i'm very cynical i'm like a very cynical type of person uh type of person uh, I won't like I'll probably be tweeting a lot through uh, E3 so if you want didn't care about that I suggest you follow me on Twitter if you want to hear me bitch like a little whiny baby all the way through and then once all the press conferences are done I'll do another attack on Iron world and I'll I'll talk about my top 10 my top 10 things that I saw that I liked perhaps we'll do it that way because because holy shit last year uh, me and Matthew sat here for like two hours <laughs> talking about E3. So, yeah, maybe I'll do like a top 10 thing. Maybe that'll be easier. Oh, yeah, let's get Kira Yasha out. We've not been getting Yasha out. I forgot you were there. We're there, Yasha. I'm sorry. Good job. Excellent display of your power. A boss. What is the boss got? What's the boss got? Can we, can we look first? Eh. Uh, Nothing really. We can steal the robot suit off her. For funsies. Oh, they got that material weapon. Material bow thing. That's a level two. And a chaos orb. Ooh. An almighty staff, level five. Do we want that? That'd be fucking sweet. Alright. Go away to go away to the hands. Where are the hands? Where are they? Here they are. Uh, Chiching hands. Let's use a chiching hand. Now, damn it! Okay, let's use a chiching hand on you. Oh no. Uh, oh, you're not gonna get it, are you? Fucking. <laughs> Fucking. Honestly. Alright. Up you go, Shiro. Let's go. get Chestnut down there. That's right. Oh. Do well, horse. I want that Chaos Orb. Oh, you fucked it. You fucked it real good. Alright, Luna. You're a ninja. You're a ninja of the night, girl. You're gonna handle it. Yes, she is a girl. Look, see? We... We got evil tears. Maybe it's invisible. Point is, we gave it the gender bender evil tea. It is a. For you. Uh, all right, Killia, out you come. You're gonna toss Luna, and she's gonna go on a secret mission to get that staff. All right, Luna, I want that staff. You're gonna bandit hand. Yeah, he freaking did it. He did it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Uh, Alright, lift. Alright, bandit again. Can we still steal that? Ah, oh, we missed. Crud. Oh well. I mean, we tried our best, right? Alright, Yasha. You can try this least chaos orb. Damn it! It was a flip of the coin. Yeah, dude. Hey, dude. God damn it! Uh, overall, really, from E3, I want stuff like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. I want that sort of thing. I want to see a a new a new Final Fantasy sort of thing. Something really cool. 
It's like, yeah, you know, I want to see. I want to see them be like, yo, Lost Odyssey, Blue Dragon, HD remakes, PlayStation 4. Like, fuck yeah, do that. I want those two. I like, I want stupid stuff. I don't like with actual stuff. Because, quite frankly, I'm satisfied with Stormblood around the corner. <laughs> you know? I'm actually, quite frankly, satisfied. <laughs> right, end our turn. We've, we've all tried to steal shit. Do you reckon the clones have shit to steal too? But that they do. Not anything good though. Yeah. Right, okay, so you still have this chaos on that one. Because it's leveled. Gimme. Alright, you know what? You know what? You had your chance. I asked for it nicely, now you're just gonna die. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I also kinda wanted that suit of armor, but to be fair, the armor's pretty shit anyway, so fuck it. So fuck it! We'll just end it. We'll end the war. Attack this person here. You can go there and do your gravity hammer move. Right, let's see how that goes. General defeated. You're dead. You're dead. Who's left? You. You were left alive. You got anything? You have not got anything. Nothing of interest. You're dead. We did it. We successfully talked about it. To sum up, I want remakes. <laughs> I want old games being re-released. Uh, good re-releases, please, uh, and, and I need Jack and Daxter, that's all I want, that's all I want from life, I don't think that's much, if there's a Vita 2, I'll have it, but whatever, <coughs> uh, right, um, do go, channel wise, uh, there'll be one of these up after the E3, probably on the day of Stormblood's release, or early access starting. So I'll be recording early access of Stormblood for the day after. Okay? So you'll be receiving videos pretty much for as long as Stormblood is. <laughs> It'll be as long as it is, and then you'll have the class quests on top of each other. And they'll just be like, hey look, we've... There's a side story and then there's a class quest as well. <clears throat> You'll be getting that uh, pretty much daily, uh, I think. Pretty much daily. Uh, I may, I do have another game coming up soon. So if that's good and people enjoy that and people want to see more of that game, I can uh, quickly do a whole bunch of recording before Stormblood launches for, for that to come out at the same time. Stormblood, so like you guys can see that have a, have a difference, you know. I might do it anyway, just to yeah, you know, just because to test the, test the waters. Uh, sometimes one video or two videos or three videos isn't enough to judge a series series worth if people want to see it or not, you know. So we'll do. I might do a bunch anyway and just let it come out uh, like a second video of a day every now and again through Stormblood. Uh, Tales. <coughs> Assure you, I have finished Tales. I finished recording it last night. I finished the very last episode of it. Uh, it's great. I think I'm actually pretty proud of how it all turned out in the end. And it will be. I don't, I don't want to give you an exact date of when the final episode will be airing, but it'll be done before Stormblood. Uh, it'll be done probably just before Stormblood, like mini free. It'll be done. Uh, but that pretty much every day as well until then so you clear it up but yes you've not got long left but it's super good uh question of the day uh, question of the day question of the video uh, i'm terrible at thinking i'm terrible at improv aren't i Uh, okay, well, let's, how about this? Video, uh, question of the video. 
what do you who do you think will air quote win E3 this is a conversation we always have right it's a conversation that happens every every time we always have this conversation of who won E3 it's a stupid childish thing right but for the fucking fun of it for the fun of it who do we think prepping one I think Sony I think Sony because I'm generally a Sony fanboy they didn't do too good at their pro launch so yeah I'm, I'm putting my coins on Sony I'm putting my coins on Sony I got faith they're gonna come back with some really cool stuff that I didn't know I wanted until they show until they show it to me uh, however Nintendo have probably also got a pretty good lineup if they're gonna show us something decent but we also know that Nintendo will constantly themselves all the time so who knows Microsoft I don't I have I have no faith at this point. Their E3 conferences are always such trash with a car going down from the ceiling or some bollocks that no one cares about. So, you know, screw that. And Ubisoft, well, Ubisoft has yet to impress me in a single one. So, what are you going to do, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, there will not be an episode of next Monday. There will not be an episode of this the Monday after. There will be an episode of this in the middle of the week after E3 has gone out, which is why there's not one on Monday, because we're waiting until E3 is done. And the week after that, Stormblood will be launched, and we will not have one then. After that, it will return to its regular scheduled broadcasting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop your comments down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.